I can hear my neighbor crying. I can't breathe. Now, I'm in the struggle. And I can't leave. Calling out the violence. Of the racist police. We ain't gonna stop. Till my people are free. We ain't gonna stop. Till my people are free. The 10 Black Nation Codes of Conduct 1. I am black first, before I am anything else and all my alliance and total allegiances are as such. Because, I am black first. 2. I will not engage in display, support nor propagate, anything that gives a negative reflection upon my black people, to include, but, not limited to, news, entertainment, information, social media, etc because, I am black first. 3. I will spend my money within my black community first and only spend the minimal amount elsewhere until, I am able to buy it in greater quantity from a black business owner because, I am black first. 4. Everything I make for or sell to my people will only be my best and I will conduct all business transactions with my people in a decent, honorable and orderly manner. Because, I am black first. 5. I will not allow anyone to talk down upon, discredit, disenfranchise or discriminate against anyone black. Because, I am black first. 6. I will educate myself, family, friends and associates about world history. Which, is black history because, I am black first. 7. I will honor and align all my total allegiances with my black people. Meaning, any and all boycotts associated with black people is my business and it warrants, my full complete and total cooperative support. Because, I am black first. 8. I understand having black pride, does not, negate anything nor anyone else. But, it will foster an increase of self-respect. While, uplifting all people to understand and respect, my black people. Because, I am black first. 9. I will handle any and all personal issues about or with my black people, within my own black community, first. Because, we are black people, first. 10. I will not allow media, law enforcement, politicians, political ties, friends, be it, foreign or domestic or business associates nor etc., to speak about or concerning black issues, without the support of an appropriate black official representative present, because, my black people are my first priority, because, I am unapologetically black, first. Shit that you've been told, and you need that info. Sanera TV, Sanera TV. Tune in the consciousness and watch the last fold, then you can let the truth flow. Sanera TV, Sanera TV. When you feel that melanin about to explode, like you feel the wind blow. It's Sanera TV, Sanera TV. I know you got the truth, but you can get more. So you continue to grow. Sunnetta TV. Sunnetta TV. Peace and black power, family. Welcome to another Sunnetta TV House of Consciousness production. Now, remember in part one, we brought you about the hair products and the hair weave. Now we want to be fair and introduce the sisters with the natural. How beautiful is the natural? A lot of our sisters have the preconceived notion that our brothers don't like the natural hair. We're going to get into that too. In part three, family, we're going to bring you solutions. The solutions you need like to that. hear. All my life. All your life? You never had a perm? No. No perm? I mean, you don't feel any like peer pressure or anything to wear a perm? No, it's my natural hair I could tolerate more rough treatment because I hardly comb my hair. And then I feel like it's part of my identity. Like my nappiness is part of identifying who I am as a black woman. So I don't feel the need to straighten it. 
Okay, that's that's a beautiful answer. Um, let me ask you a question. When you see your friends that have the hair weaves and wear the perms, do you, does it look like they are slave to their hair? No, I think it all depends on their mindset. You need to look at why they're doing it. If they're doing it because they just want a change in their hairstyle or a different look, that's okay. But if they're doing it because they want, they feel like beauty is defined by a certain image, then I would have a problem with it. Like to be beautiful, they don't need to have like long straight hair or like a slim curvy body. Uh -huh. So it, you have to look at the mindset of the person to understand whether or not something is wrong with it. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much, sister. I appreciate you. What's your name? Khadija from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful Erica right here. Erica, how Hi. are you? Hello. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet Let you. Let me ask you a question. How long have you been wearing your hair natural like that? Like this? I've been wearing it for the past six years, but I've been natural my whole life. Oh, yeah? You never had a perm in your no, hair? No, that's not true. I had a perm for a year when I was in high school because I thought that... Everybody was supposed to have straight hair. Then once I had it, I hated it. So <laughs> it just wasn't enough body. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it smelled when you get perms. It and smells it and it hurts. Yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Do you have friends that have hair weaves and perms? A lot of friends who have hair weaves and perms, but it's getting better. It's getting it's better. It's getting better. So okay. So you, you're saying that the hair weaves and perms is not a good thing. Keep it, keep it honest. I, I know your sisters are going to be watching, and they won't call you a sellout, all right? Well, it's, it's not that I don't think that it's a good thing or a bad thing. I just think choices are your own. You know, you have whatever you want to do uh -huh. with whatever you want to do. But obviously, if you put a chemical on your head, if you put a chemical in your skin, it's going to cause some type of infection. It could potentially be cancerous. And if you put something on your head that smells like dog shit, sorry. <laughs> if it does and it burns you, uh -huh. you do it four to six weeks every 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 four to six weeks. It's bad. Right. right it's not right. good. Right. And putting a wig on, whatever, weaves are pretty terrible, too, because, mm -hmm. you know, they pull at your scalp. Right, right. Let me ask you, when the sisters, like, want the long, flowing hair, do you see that as possibly, not all the time, but possibly some deep psychological thing that they aspire to some other type of beauty from another race? Absolutely. I think it's pretty obvious when... I've heard my whole life, oh, you can wear that type of hair, but I can't. Uh -huh. And um, so I can wear my natural God-given hair, but they can't because it just doesn't look right on them to have, you know, natural hair. And they think it's necessary to have silky, long hair that doesn't grow from their scalp. And if you do have that silky hair, your, your hair probably isn't that long because you might not be taking care of it the way that you need to. Right, right. Thank you very much. We're not going to hold you. Enjoy your day here. You enjoy Thank you very too. much. Okay. Bye. Look for us on Sarnetta TV. I will. All you right. No, we don't have any cards with us. Okay. All right. How you doing, sister? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah, what's your name, sweetheart? Kathleen. Kathleen. Kathleen, I want to ask you, how long have you been wearing your hair like that? Since 1999. Did you used to have perms and things before that? No, I yeah, well, a long time ago I wore perms and and all uh, straight hair. Uh, what what made you change? Ease, I think it makes you look better, prettier, and ease. And ease. Easier, easier. Did, did the perm damage your hair in any yes. way? Yes, the perms damage your hair. Okay, okay. Did you feel like you were a slave to your hair when you was wearing the perm? Absolutely. It's a lot easier to exercise, to hang out. To walk in the rain when your hair is natural. Okay. So, do you encourage black women to go back to natural? Absolutely. Come on in. Okay. Come on in. Thank you very much, sister. How long have you been wearing your hair natural like that? Uh, like two years. Two years. You used to wear the perms and everything before that. Yeah. Why'd you stop? Uh, a lot of reasons, but mainly because. I think it's not good for the environment. I think you shouldn't put anything on your body that you wouldn't put in a cup and drink. In a cup and drink, you said? Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Do you feel beautiful like that? Yeah. Did the perm damage your hair in any way? Not mine, because my hair is really thick, but oh, okay. I think it's not healthy, no. Okay, how long did you wear the perm? Uh, a long time, I guess like 16 years. 16 years? Yeah, because when I was little until I was older. 
Uh, you don't look no more than 18. Do you ever do you ever get do you ever get questions from your friends like, girl, you need to do something with your hair? Uh, no, but I think that the reason that I don't is kind of revealing for this. Or I don't know what you guys are. I don't necessarily know what you're investigating or trying to find out, but I think the reason I don't is because I do have like a lot of thick hair. Uh -huh. So they like it, but if my hair was different, I'm sure I would. Okay. Well, we're not, we're not trying to do anything negative. Uh -oh. We're just trying to um, get some information from our sisters as a... A lot of sisters is going back natural, yeah. and we trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to find out why. We're and all we we're all you know for it. Beautiful natural. Too. Beautiful natural. Thank you. Okay, what's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Thank you very much, Brittany. All right. How you doing, sister? My name is Sue Tech. What's your name? Nakia. Nakia. Pleased to meet you, Nakia. Pleased to meet you too. I want to ask you, Nakia. Your hair looks very beautiful. Thank How long have you been wearing your hair like that? Well, I've had locks. I went through a transition. I had locks, and then I cut my locks off, and now I'm still doing the natural thing, and I'm twisting. So I've been natural for, like, 15 to 20 years now. 15 to, were you wearing a perm and stuff before that? Wearing the perm. And, and why did you get rid of the perm? Because it was just disgusting. It was eating my hair out, falling out, and everything, and, you know, I decided to go natural. Okay, 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 okay. How do your friends react to you with your natural hair, the ones with the weaves and the perms? They're like, uh, why don't you get a perm? Why don't you, you know, get a wig on? I'm like, listen, I don't want none of that. I want to be natural, all natural. I'm a beautiful black sister with natural hair. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, sister. Thank Appreciate you. it. You're very welcome. Yo, all right. me and my brother Sarnetta, we out here interviewing the sisters with the natural hair. And we're trying to get some of the younger sisters. And what's messed up is we got to look high and low for them. <laughs> we can't find them. <laughs> How y'all doing? Can I ask you a question, sister? How long have you been wearing your hair in the locks like that? Three years. Three years? How was you wearing it before then? I had the chemicals. Why you frown like that when you say the chemicals? Because I regretted it. Why? Because it did a number to my hair. It's not natural. I don't like anything that's not natural. You don't like nothing? Did it, did it damage your hair? Emotions are everything. I do nothing na um, unnatural. It didn't damage it, but the older you get, the texture naturally changes anyway. So I decided okay. to go natural and keep the health. Uh, okay, so let me ask you, is it more economical for you to wear your hair this way, or did you feel you were spending more money when you was dealing with the chemicals? Economical. This is yeah. more economical. That's more economical? Mm hmm Okay. Thank you very much, sis. What's your name? I do it myself. Okay. What's your name, sis? <laughs> Shelly. Shelly, thank you very much, Shelly. Right, we got a Back to Natural movement on the rise, and we have some wonderful hair care products for you coming up. My name is Sue Tech. How are you? Okay, Queen Esther. Okay. Esther, pleased yeah. to meet you. How long have you been wearing your hair like that, sister? Oh, a year and a half now. A a half. How did you wear it before then? Uh, I had a lot of weaves, and I had to straighten a lot, straight weaves. Oh, yeah? Because I'm in the fashion industry, so I have to change my look all the time. Okay. Yeah. So, are you going back to the straight and to the weaves? No, never. Ever, ever, never, 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 ever. And why is that, sister? Number one, money. <laughs> I need to preserve. <laughs> and um, number two, this is who I am. This is how I'm happy. I've saved money, I've been happy, I'm at, I'm at peace with myself now that I have my hair like this. Right. Like, honestly speaking, I feel good with myself. I could go to the beach, go in the water. I don't have to worry about it getting, you know, nappy again. Uh -huh. It's already like this, so this is this is it. This how, how, how have the, the, the black men been responding to your hair? Very positively, I'm so surprised. Very, very, even the younger ones, I'm really surprised. Like, like, sister, I love your hair. Keep it like that. You look really beautiful. And I, I, I was really shocked. And I asked them, I said, why, why do you like this look? They said, it's you. It's your hair. It's not, you know, you don't have any chemicals in it. You don't have any fake hair in it. And, 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 that, and that's why, that's why I kept it.